that is something which Prime Minister Modi is seeing at this moment that how different sectors are going to witness with this 5G uh, technology, 5G uh, spectrum in the country. This is something which these, uh, uh, these people at different stalls are showing them that how on the education front this 5G is going to benefit the country, how in the, in the, in the, in the MSME sector 5G is going to benefit, how in the, in the in heavy industry sector 5G is going to work. Uh, work. So these okay. are the things, these are the presentations, these are the things which uh, uh, these different stalls uh, are, uh, are showing to Prime Minister Modi at this moment as we speak. Absolutely. Arun, essentially now I also want to bring in our guest, Professor N.K. Goyal, who is still on the broadcast with us. Uh, Mr. Goyal, what, the question I wanted to pose to you is now, how long do you think it's going to take for 5G to really give out a massive change when it comes to India's landscape? Yeah, you are right. In fact, one of the things which are less talked is how does it going to promote investment and economy? For making 5G throughout the country, we'll have to do lots of fiberization. Lots of small towers will come throughout India and that will involve huge investment and huge turnover for the economy. At the same time, let me also share with your viewers mm -hmm. that because the speed is very high and low latency, so one of the biggest cases which have been discovered world over are in case of robot surgery and driverless car. And within India, we are developing cases across all industry sector. Till 4G, it was a telecom network, telecom to telecom. Now 5G has become interconnected. We call it IoT or M2M connected. So now the use cases are not for telecom communication, but for agriculture, for education, for health, for aviation, for infrastructure, for everything. And that is where the change is there. And that is why lots of new investment and lots of new scopes coming up. And luckily, we have been successful in our auction of this spectrum. Our operators are keen. Our government is keen launching today. And we have also seen Honorable PM launching 5G domestic core. This is something very interesting, very, very, very interesting. Because this is for the first time that India has developed a 5G core. So this is a big benefit to industries, users. Of course, there will be still we have to watch as to what are the use cases to be used by an ordinary customer. For schools, it is there. For college, it is there. For agriculture, it is there. For industry, it is there. But for ordinary customer, other than that, the high speed download of the videos and clarity of the video, what else use cases will come up are yet to be seen. And that is in the process of making. Thank Absolutely. You. Now, I also think it's pretty fair to say that our dependence when it comes to other countries and importing things, that's also going to be reduced, correct? Yeah, in fact, because the 5G technology is across the world, so any use case coming up in any part of the world is also applicable in India. We have to use it. And But more than that, our now in the world, India is seen as, as the largest economy. India is seen as a leader and not as a follower. So even these are cases of agriculture, cases of education, cases of health, remote health, they are being seen by the world as a testimony and they want to copy it down. In fact, uh, next week, there is a big conference in France called World Electronic, uh, mm -hmm. World Electronic uh, Conference in which uh, India is going to present the use cases for 5G and other technologies. So it's a, a, we are hoping a big boost in the exports and manufacturing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Goyal, for all of that perspective when it comes to this exciting launch. But stay with us because I also want to cross back over to our reporters, Arun Dhanta and Nikhil Lakwani, who are joining us live from Pragati Maidan. Uh, Arun, I want to come over to you first. What I really wanted to ask you now is essentially once 5G is launched, what's going to be taking place right after that? Is, that going to, uh, is it going to be immediately available for consumers? Well, see, uh, what we are told is that uh, today uh, it will be launched by Prime Minister Modi here in Pragati Maidan. And uh, in fact, uh, within a month or, or two, we will have a full rollout of 5G in the 13 cities which has been selected. So by the end of this year, we will have uh, 
5G enrolled in 13 cities of the country. That's the initial plan that uh, the telecom companies uh, have, uh, have, have, have told us about. Uh, and uh, remember that it has only uh, three telecom companies who have got the spectrum and the largest chunk uh, has, has of course gone, gone to uh, Reliance uh, Geo. And, uh, uh, and then of course once uh, uh, in, in 13 cities we will have uh, the 5G enrollment. Then of course the planning will be made for uh, the larger rollout, the rollout in the other parts of the country because that's when we will see uh, the massive changes in the lives of the people of, uh, of rural areas, you know, people who are, who are living in the villages. And that is something which is going to be very, very interesting that how the response of uh, the people is going to be in that rural areas. But initially, we are told that by the end of this year, we will have uh, the uh, 5G services uh, enrolled in 13 cities of the country. And there will be a massive difference. Uh, uh, than 4G in 5G and it will uh, really going to bring bring changes in the lives of people the virtual reality you will have the real-time experience of the things in front of you augment reality you know artificial intelligence all these things which uh, will come along with the fifth generation that is something which uh, which government has been planning for the very long time to give that uh, best experience to the people of this country when you have 5G rolled out in various uh, other countries. There were, of course, few hiccups initially about uh, the, the the five five. There were few myths about 5G. That has uh, all 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 been been you know been cleared, and uh, the plannings have been made that how we can tackle those issues. And now finally, we have a day when 5G will be rolled out, and none other than Prime Minister Modi himself visiting here Pragati Maidan, becoming part of the launch of. Uh, uh, 5G, a plan which his government has been working on for last five to six years, and massive, uh, you know, research work has gone into to reach this this uh, this this day today where you have launching of uh, uh, 5G in the country. Even uh, as we speak, Prime Minister Modi is taking. Uh, uh, you know, taking a round of the entire setup which has been created here in Pragati Maidan by different countries. We had just seen Prime Minister Modi, uh, you know, uh, sitting on a chair playing that game. So these are the advantages of 5G because, we well, you know, Prime Minister Modi was uh, was playing that uh, uh, car racing uh, game game there. The gaming industry will also get a huge boost uh, by the introduction of uh, 5G. And when you have that, uh, the boost in the gaming industry along with that, the product Production, of course, will go up, and that will increase the the revenue and also the jobs. Uh, and when you have a production of certain things, then you uh, will have a domino effect on uh, on on the resale and on the retail sector as well. So, uh, in a larger perspective, we can say that it will bring. Uh, many benefits to the people of uh, this country and that is something which government uh, is also planning a government of, uh, uh, of, of, of Prime Minister Modi uh, has also uh, been talking about the five trillion economy so this uh, 5g uh, you know launch uh, 5g usage is also going to play a major role in India becoming that uh, five trillion uh, economy so the massive change is, is going to be witnessed in the lives of uh, uh, people of this country and of course uh, the the additional advantages with the economy is going to get that is something which is very very significant production uh, is something which will increase not only the production of handsets but uh, the other uh, sectors like gaming uh, you know uh, industries related to the MSMEs uh, heavy industries all these things will get huge boom